How to do a baby model portfolio. If you have a baby, you may be considering entering them into the world of baby modeling. Before you start spending thousands of dollars on professional photographs, you will want to be aware of some things that make baby modeling unique. Most importantly, it isn't necessary to make a modeling portfolio for your baby. All you need is a few great photos, your lovely baby, realistic expectations, and the willingness to do your research to avoid falling into a baby modeling scam. Part 1 Taking Photos of Your Baby 1. Take the photos yourself. There is no need to spend a fortune on having professional photos taken of your baby. Legitimate modeling agencies accept and encourage photos that you've taken yourself, since they know that babies grow and change all the time. Just be sure that the photos are high, quality, have good lighting, and show your baby clearly. Be sure to take the photos in color, not black and white. Some agencies will only accept online submissions, so it is best to use a digital camera or your camera phone. That way, you can have both digital and print versions of your pictures. 2. Use natural lighting When taking photos of your baby, you want to avoid using the flash. Flash can create harsh shadows. Instead, choose a well, lit part of your home or a lovely area outside in which to take the pictures. 3. Keep your baby's clothing simple Agencies are drawn to pictures that show your child in a simple, natural state. It is best to dress your baby in just a diaper or a simple dress or t-shirt. Avoid dressing your baby in frilly clothing, hats, and jewelry. Remember that the key is to showcase your baby, not their outfits and accessories. 4. Use simple backgrounds Again, agencies prefer photos that aren't busy or overly complicated. Take photos of your baby against a simple background, such as grass, tile, a hardwood floor, or a neutral, colored blanket. If you take the photos in a place that is visually busier, such as in the kitchen or at a park, be sure that the picture is focused on the baby. You can also try a few pictures of your baby sitting on a bench or chair, depending on their age. 5. Take full-length photos Modeling agencies will want to see your baby's full body and size to determine if they will be a good fit for what their client needs. You will choose the best ones before sending them to the agency. Be sure that the pictures show your baby's true size. This means don't crowd your baby with lots of blanket or cover them up. 6. Take photos that show your baby's face. The modeling agency will want to see a clear, close-up photo of your baby's face. Again, take a few so that you have some options to choose from later. Be sure to avoid pictures in which your baby is covered in food or sprinkles. As cute as those pictures may seem, the agency wants to see your baby's full, clean face. If possible, try taking some photos of your baby looking happy, engaged, and exuberant. 7. Take photos that capture your baby's personality. Baby modeling agencies want to see your baby's spark. They want to see that your baby has a unique personality, so take photos that capture this as well as possible. Remember, there are many cute babies, so this picture is your chance to show what sets your baby apart. Getting a great character shot can take time and lots of takes, but it will be worth it when you capture the picture that will catch the agent's eye. Here are some ideas for this type of photo, try to photograph your baby as they are, laughing, smiling, pondering, embracing the camera, or making an expression of deep thought or wonderment. Part 2 Preparing the Photos 1. Upload digital images to your computer You will want to upload the photos to your computer so that you can view them on a larger screen, and then edit them if necessary. Once they are on your computer, you can start the process of reviewing them to see which ones to send. 2. Choose only a few images. 
It may be tempting to send hundreds of pictures to be sure that the agency sees the full scope of your baby's wonderfulness. However, you want to choose only a few photos, 3 to 5, to submit. Sending too many will likely work against you, as the agent may be overwhelmed and move on to another candidate. Here are some tips for helping you narrow down the pictures. Choose at least one photo from each of the categories mentioned above, a full-length photo, a photo of your baby's face, and a photo that shows your baby's personality. You want to show that your baby is good-natured and can handle being around others, so avoid photos that show your baby hysterically screaming or crying. Have at least one photo where your baby looks happy, lively, or joyful. Ask others to choose between a few versions of the same shot to see which they think is best. Don't submit a photo that is blurry or too dark to see details. 3. Edit photos minimally or not at all. Now that you've chosen your photos, you may want to use Photoshop or another editing program to adjust the lighting and contrast. If you do this, just be sure that the photos still look natural and that they realistically portray what your baby looks like. You wouldn't want your baby to be chosen for a shoot, only to be told that they aren't a good fit once you arrive on set. Your baby is beautiful as is, so there is no need to make extreme edits. Part 3 Submitting the Photos 1. Research Agencies You want to be sure that the agency you're considering is registered, reputable, and within a reasonable travel distance. You can search on the Better Business Bureau, BBB, website to find agencies that are accredited by the BBB in your area. Check to see if the agency you're considering has placed models for legitimate companies in the past. This can help you determine whether or not it is a credible agency. You may also want to do an internet search of the company's name, followed by words like scam or rip-off. 2. Beware of scams. Sadly, there are many scams that occur in the baby modeling industry. When choosing what agencies to submit your photos to, be sure that you aren't setting yourself up to be scammed. By looking for the following warning signs, you can keep yourself, your baby, and your wallet safe from being taken advantage of. The agency asks for money up front. If a company asks you for a fee before they will serve as your baby's agent, they are very likely trying to skim you. Legitimate agencies will not charge you up front. The agency guarantees you work or talks about making your baby famous. Baby modeling is a very competitive and small industry, so it is impossible for the agency to guarantee that your baby will have consistent, if any, work. The agency says you must use a specific photographer. The agency tells you that you need to hurry up or commit now. The agency only accepts cash or a money order. Just like scams on Craigslist, when someone requires only cash or a money order, it is often a warning sign. 3. Determine the agency's preferred submission method. Now that you've narrowed down a list of agencies, you will need to search each agency's website to see how they want you to submit your photos. Some agencies will want you to print the pictures of your baby and mail them in, while others may prefer an email or an online submission. 4. Print the pictures you chose. If an agency requests that you send the photos via regular mail, there are many options for having your photos printed. You can have them printed at a store like Walgreens, CVS, or a FedEx office print shop, you can print them online through a well-reputed service like Shutterfly or Snapfish, or you can print them at home on photo paper. The agency may specify what size they would like your pictures to be. If they don't, print your pictures at either 4x6, 5x7, or 8x10. Make sure not to exceed 8x10. 5. Label the back of each photo. On the back of each photo, write your contact details, as well as your baby's clothing size, age, birthday, and measurements. This step is very important if you are sending the photos in the mail, as it will give the agency quick access to the information they need. Once you've done this, put the photos in an envelope. They are ready to send. 6. Send the photos and a short introduction letter to the agency. Now that you've done your research and chosen a few reputable agencies in your area, you're ready to send off your photos. Along with your selected images, type up a short letter of introduction. Keep this letter just a few sentences long, and include your contact information, as well as the baby's clothing size, age, birthday, and measurements once again. If you are sending the submission in the mail, you should be able to find the address on the agency's website. If you are sending the submission via email, Paste the introduction letter into the body of the email. Then, attach the images to the email. 
If you are using an online submission feature, be sure the images are no larger than 2 megabytes. There will likely be submission form fields for you to fill out with information about you and your baby. Warnings The market for baby models is very small and can be difficult to break into. Because of this, it is helpful to have realistic expectations about the possibility of your baby becoming a model.